Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save uh, a sensor's data to an SD card. And in this case, uh, I will use an Arduino, a uh, SD card module, which is here. And uh, an LCD screen and the sensor, which now is a temperature sensor. It's a LM335Z. Uh, temperature sensor so basically you just change uh, the current or the voltage passing through the uh, through one of its leg and uh, by measuring the change in the voltage you get the response uh, and uh, you measure that basically with one of the legs of the Arduino so basically one of the leg is uh, connected to the to one of the uh, analog digital converter pins of the Arduino and then the other leg is uh, grounded and uh, that's all so uh, you will see it uh, in the source code later on I will show you the source code of the software I will quickly go through it and then you will understand uh, this better so I have a micro SD card so I just put in this stuff and uh, put it back to the breadboard and I just have this uh, thermometer it's uh, based on a K-type uh, thermocouple and it's just a simple uh, LCD as you can see so this is just to confirm the temperature that I measure so this is a very simple project but uh, if you are able to understand this uh, project you will be able to build something more advanced or more complicated because basically what I I show you here is how to how to read the data of this chip but basically that uh, uh, the reading of the internal AD converter of this chip uh, of this Arduino and then how to send data to this uh, LCD uh, display but uh, I already uh, shown you that several times and then how to write a file or create and write a file uh, with Arduino using this module. So that's all. And as you can see, we don't have too much parts. So we have this screen, few cables, uh, the, the chip itself. So this guy here, uh, if you can see. And then uh, I also use a 2 kilo ohm uh, resistor and uh, this uh, SD card module. and the uh, Arduino. In this case I'm using a uh, Uno but uh, we can use uh, the Nano as well. So what is important to know is uh, basically this. So now I'm just uh, putting this stuff uh, the the end of this uh, K-type uh, thermocouple nearby this uh, chip without causing any short circuit let's say I would like to put it like this I just want you to see the screen as well so I'm just connecting this to the computer and what you will see that uh, the screen will uh, have a short uh, boot sequence and then uh, within a few seconds it will start to show you the temperature uh, on, on, on the screen So now I connect it and now we have to wait a bit. So here is the message, if you see, and there's the temperature. So now it's 22 degrees Celsius and uh, 25 according to the K-type thermocouple. So they are more or less uh, the same. I don't know which is uh, more reliable, but uh, they are in the same order of magnitude. So I, I believe both of them. Uh, it feels like more than it feels like more uh, like 22 degrees than 25 but uh, yeah so now I have this uh, heat gun here uh, it's basically a long hair dryer but I use this for the heat shrink, heat shrink tubes so I just uh, blow some hot air on this and uh, we will see how the temperature is changing and I'm already uh, saving the data hopefully 
on the SD card. So when I show you the uh, source code, I will also show you the temperature. So I will plot a chart and hopefully you will see a spike in it when I just uh, blow the hot air. So this will be noisy. So if you are wearing a headphone or something, then turn down the volume now. So as you can see that uh, the temperature of the air was somewhere between 100 and 130 degrees. You can also see that uh, the thermocouple cools down quicker because it's a metal uh, material and then the chip is a semiconductor and plastic so it takes more time to cool down but uh, it's roughly the same. So we could see that uh, there is a spike in the temperature if we blow it, blown it. And uh, basically that's all. So now I will show you the source code, which is more exciting than this uh, introduction or uh, demonstration. And hopefully you will learn something there. So I show you the code now. So we are here with the code for the uh, SD card reader and uh, the Arduino. So as you can see, I defined here uh, the connections, so you can easily uh, connect everything. And then we include our libraries, which are necessary. Of course, we have library for the SD card, and then for the uh, screen, uh, for the uh, basically the communication. And uh, that's all. I or also tried uh, OLED screen with this, but that basically consumed all the memory of the Arduino, so I was not able to uh, run it, so I, st I stuck with the uh, LCD. So we have to define a chip select uh, pin, which is the pin number 4, and then we declare this uh, file. We have an output pin for the temperature sensor and then we would like to define two variables which is the temperature in Kelvin and the temperature in Celsius. So we set up everything here, so serial as, as usual because we also send the data through the serial port and we take care of the LCD screen so this is basically just the regular task that we perform we set the pin uh, of the chip select uh, to output and then uh, we can like define these things that uh, we try to initialize the SD card so we, we try to see if uh, there is an SD card in the chip reader if there is no SD card uh, or something is wrong then we just print this value to the uh, serial and also we make sure that uh, if this file is uh, on the SD card then we delete it and we create a new one so this is all basically and then I made three functions so we read the temperature we wait a little bit and we write it on the LCD and also on the SD card so first of all I just want to show you the writing part uh, how we write. So we create a file with this name here and this is the command so we write and what we do is basically if we have the file then uh, with a two digit precision we print the temperature in Celsius and then we close the file and then we also print it on the terminal so we can see that it was successful or if something was wrong then we just uh, get this message. We can also print this so we can print the content of the file but now I'm just uh, uh, concentrating or focusing on the writing part so I just show you that part. And then we read the temperature which is very simple because we just basically read the internal 
uh, AD converter of the Arduino. So we just see that we just say that all right, then we chose the output pin, which was the A0, and then we uh, update the value of the analog bit variable with the value of the uh, analog read and then we calculate the Kelvin. Here what is very important then uh, you divide by the resolution of the AD converter. So if you have something else you using uh, you are using an external AD converter which is uh, 16 bits for example then you have to make sure that uh, you have to update that. I'm using the Arduino Uno and that has a 10 bit uh, AD converter which is uh, translated to 2 to the 10th power which is uh, 124 well, 1024 and here what you make that uh, you have to measure the 5 volt rail when your device is running with everything connected to it and you write the the voltage in millivolts here so that's uh, what you have to do and then uh, you divide by 10 because uh, the change in the in this particular chip is 10 millivolt uh, per Kelvin so if you change the temperature by 1 Kelvin there will be a 10 millivolt drop in the voltage and then obviously if you want to convert it to Celsius then you just subtract 273.15 and then we just print everything and this is just printing on it on the term uh, terminal the serial terminal but since we update uh, the two variables and uh, have them then uh, after printing this stuff so we also print it on the LCD then it's also getting printed in the write file so you see that we read the temperature printed it on the serial and then uh, we printed it on the LCD because basically this comes after that so reading waiting and printing it on the LCD right here and then we write it into the file so we still have the values of these two variables and then uh, I'm just using the Celsius here so we have it here and uh, print it in the file or write it in the file and then after this part we go back of course because this is the loop so then we read the temperature again so we run this function again we update the values of these variables here and then again print it on the LCD and then write it in the file and here what you can do is basically endless instead of reading the temperature you can read voltage for example or you can do uh, a timer so you can measure the time as well for example the time for the code you can connect a real time clock to your Arduino and then you can uh, assign uh, the real time and date to the temperature so you can make like a real uh, measurement based on, a, on, on the date for example if you do some longer measurements so what matters basically that you have to define a nice uh, strategy how you want to uh, write into your file so for example I suggest you to do uh, the, the, the following so basically you have some values here like five different values so you should separate them by tab and then do a line break and then if you have a new set of values then uh, write them in the following line do a line break and so on and so on so this this was very simple I think and now I will uh, try to show you how my data looks like that I made during uh, heating up the uh, chip so I imported the file from the SD card and then uh, I just add the new column and fill it up with the numbers of rows because I just saved the temperatures and nothing else so I plot it and uh, I also want to flip this now 
So as you can see that we have this uh, curve in the beginning, I mean, let me, yeah. So in the beginning, uh, we just quickly uh, heated up the sensor by using this uh, uh, heating uh, stuff. And then I let it cool uh, by itself. And then you can see that this is a nice exponential decay. So it obeys the cooling law very nicely. So on the on the y-axis, you can see that uh, this is the temperature in Celsius degrees. And then uh, on the x-axis, we basically have the uh, time in a certain uh, resolution. But uh, all we have to see now here that uh, we were able to uh, read uh, the signal from the sensor and uh, convert it into temperature and then write this temperature value on the SD card. So this is a simple project, but you can extend it by reading other sensors and uh, doing other stuff. Uh, meanwhile, you are reading the sensor. So this can be extended into a, a very advanced uh, project. So I hope that this was helpful. And uh, as usual, I will upload the code and everything that uh, you can use to make some cool project out of this uh, basic project. So see you in the next video.